Gujarat's space tech policy isn't just a list of tax breaks. It's a manifesto for the new era of India's space leadership. For industrialists, it unlocks manufacturing scale. For investors, it de-risks frontier bets. And for policymakers, it offers a replicable blueprint for state-driven innovation. On April 16, 2025, Gujarat etched its name in history, becoming India's first state to have a specific space tech policy for itself. What began as sketches on a policy paper will soon translate into rockets, satellites, and digital Earth observation marvels, all powered by Gujarat's private sector and startups. Now, why did Gujarat move first? Consider these facts. The global space economy is going to exceed to $1 trillion by 2040 with India's slice alone soaring from $8.4 billion to $44 billion within a decade. Also, Gujarat is home to ISRO's Space Applications Center in Ahmedabad. It's a crucible to satellite and remote sensing expertise. With a proven track record in high-precision manufacturing, be it from petrochemicals to electronics, it means that the state can deliver high-precision space components at scale. The policy rests on three pillars. It amplifies Gujarat's contribution to the exploding space economy. It unlocks private sector muscle across manufacturing, ground systems, and applications. And it builds a vibrant ecosystem where startups can innovate, scale, and export. To woo industrialists and investors, the policy offers multiple incentives, beginning with manufacturing. Eligible units manufacturing satellites, payloads, propulsion systems, are eligible for all the benefits under the Gujarat Electronics Policy. Then there's launch cost support. It offers 25% reimbursement of launch fees, capped at 5 crore rupees per launch for satellites built in Gujarat. Then there's liberalized FDI. Gujarat's new space tech policy leverages India's newly liberalized FDI regime, offering up to 100% in automatic route foreign investments for satellite component manufacturers and up to 74% in satellite manufacturing and operations. Then there's patent reimbursement. 30% of Indian IPR filing fees, up to Rs 50 lakhs reimbursed for patents granted within five years of commercial operation. There's also ground station and application incentives. It provides full parity with the IT-ITES policy incentives for ground stations, data centers, and satellite-derived services. The policy also provides common facility subsidies with 25% subsidy for 5 year on state-run test labs and prototyping centers, managed in partnership with InSpace. Long before this policy took shape, Gujarat's own trailblazers, Azista BST with its small sat production lines, Sat Leo Labs pioneering thermal imaging payloads, OMSpace developing nanorocket prototypes, and Star Orbitals crafting precision aerospace components, had already laid the foundation for a thriving space tech ecosystem. The infrastructure plans are as ambitious as the incentives. A space manufacturing plant with plug and play sheds, logistics, and in house testing. A state level launch pad site, primed for small sat missions and suborbital flights. A center of excellence in collaboration with InSpace, offering advanced training and prototyping. A streamlined single window approval system via the state level empowered committee backed by the Technical Advisory Committee of ISRO and other industry experts. With 2,340 km of sea-based frontage, Gujarat can also pioneer in coastal launch corridors and sea-based platforms, unlocking safer, fuel-efficient trajectories over open waters. This coastline becomes a double asset, hosting launch and recovery zones while powering a network of maritime ground stations for real-time telemetry. This policy earmarks the 920 km square of Dolera's Special Investment Region, a part of the Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor, for space fairing facilities, leveraging plug-and-play land parcels under a unified regulatory framework, high-speed fibre, renewable microgrids, and the upcoming Fedara International Airport for seamless manufacturing, testing, and logistics. The governance part of it checks with the Mission Director's Office at GSEM ensuring transparent disbursements and quarterly reviews, rigorous technical vetting and course correction as the technology evolves, policy agility, allowing amendments to address the evolving challenges and opportunities. Gujarat's space tech policy isn't just a list of tax breaks. 
it's a manifesto for the new era of India's space leadership. For industrialists, it unlocks manufacturing scale. For investors, it de-risks frontier bets. And for policymakers, it offers a replicable blueprint for state-driven innovation. As rockets stirred by Gandhinagar move towards liftoff and satellites crafted in Vadodara beam data back into our labs, this policy will stand as a launchpad which propelled Gujarat and India into its spacefaring future. Please like, share and subscribe if you want more such videos like this.